Hello? Hi? You might be thinking to yourself, oh my god, Kenny made a YouTube video? And fun fact, this is actually my third YouTube video I've recorded, but the first and only of those that I'm probably gonna upload. What I have planned for us today is I'm gonna go to a fa- Sorry, my dad's looking at me. <laughs> So I want to go to a fabric store, get some cool fabric, go to a thrift store, hopefully get some cool or just like black pants, and then sew them together and make something. I have like a vision in my head. And I know for a fact it's going to look cool. Um, So y'all are coming with me. But hi, if you guys don't know who I am, um, my name is Kenny. I'm 20 years old. I really like the color pink and I really like... You know what? That's actually it. That's it. Oh yeah, um, you might know me from Instagram, TikTok, or Snapchat. That's what I normally do. Um, but I really wanted to start YouTube because I love talking. Yeah, we figured. And I don't shut up, so sorry about that. But yeah, talking about my Snapchat, I posted on my story, I don't even know, like a month or two ago. I said, damn, bitch. <laughs> that I was going to be making a YouTube account and for people to ask me questions. So I screenshotted and I have a bunch of questions people were asking me about and I will just answer them while going about my day doing my stuff. Okay, so I just got to Joanne's Fabric Store. I don't know if they have them all over the US or world or anything, but there's one by my house and it's just a fabric store and I just want to get like a mesh black see-through fabric also wish me luck i'm gonna try and videotape myself while i'm in the store no promises because that's really awkward no because for real why is it so scary to take your phone out and vlog in front of people that shit mystifies me and i don't know if i have it in me i will try my best okay i just walked in the store and literally immediately i found exactly what i was looking for I'm gonna keep looking just a little bit longer, see if there's something that catches my eye. Okay, so update, there was not, but if not, I'm gonna get that. So in total, I got two yards of this black mesh fabric and I love it. Okay, just left the fabric store and the thrift store is right there. So I'm gonna go thrift, see if I find any cool pants or anything like that. I'll see. Okay, so I just got back in my car from Savers is the thrift store I was at. Um, I got this really cool hat, but I'm gonna cut it up and I'm gonna do something really cool with it. I'll show you guys later. Um, and then I got two pairs of pants. I got the black pants that I wanted. They're just plain black. And then these blue ones. They were never seen again after this moment. They were only $2, that's why I got them, but... I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, since I just thrifted this stuff, I'm gonna wash it before anything. I know someone who literally got scabies for putting on clothes from the Goodwill before washing it. So, what you wanna do is fill, oh yeah, I have my water running now. Uh, there we go, whatever. Um, you wanna fill the sink or a tub or whatever with cold water. You want the water to be cold so that the colors don't run. Then you grab your laundry detergent and, uh, just, yeah, I, I, I think that's enough. I don't know. You just eyeball it, man. I don't have measurements for anything. Okay, while I wait for my clothes to get clean and dry, um, I'll set up my sewing station. I gotta go into my basement. Oh, oh my god. I think my sewing machine is, oh, where is she? Ah, oh, she's right here. Okay, so I have a pretty big family and they're all super freaking loud. So I can't record videos or anything in my house um, or else there'll be like a bunch of like noise. But I have a tree house. So I'm going to try and like set it up to record in there and do my sewing and stuff like that. So this is the tree house. Um, Jesus Christ, it's really echoey. <laughs> Okay, it's the next day and the clothes are clean and dry. Were they clean and dry yesterday? Yes. Did I have the energy to film the rest of this video yesterday? Also, yes, I just got lazy and didn't want to do it. Um, no excuses. Okay, I'm going to show you again what I got. Um, I know I showed you yesterday, but now that they're clean and dry, I don't feel like I'm going to get scabies, rabies, and babies touching them. Uh, so I'm not scared. These are the black pants I got. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. Okay, I got it all set up. I know right here is really bright, but it's just lighting stuff. I 
can't really do much about it and I'm sorry, but um, yeah, let's get started. I figured that it would be kind of boring for me to like teach you how to sew. Um, so today I'm just gonna be like doing a Q&A while I sew. If you guys want me to show you how to do it later. Correction, I can teach you how to do it, but it probably won't be that good cause I'm not that good. I can definitely do that, but um, for today I'll just be answering questions. Let's get started on some of the questions. Um, I wrote a bunch of them down. <sighs> and they took like screenshots of what people asked me. And the first one and probably the most um, common asked for me is how did I come out or when did I come out? Okay, so I came out in 2018, I was 17 years old. And if you know anything about that year and like, the LGBT community. That's when um, Love, Victor, and Call Me By Your Name came out and like all those movies. And honestly, that really got me in the mindset of like, why should I need to come out? Like I have two brothers and they never had to come out as straight. I didn't really get why I had to come out as gay. It's giving very much fruity. So I just never really planned to. I figured one day I would come home with a boyfriend and be like, this is him. Uh, yeah, I knew my parents would be supportive. I'm very lucky like that. I come from a very, like, welcoming, supportive, and happy family. Oh, for real? On God? Let's, let's be, let's be real, my parents too. Okay, I'm going to try and explain what I'm about to do to the best of my ability. I just cut up the black pants into, like, little shorts, and then I cut each pant leg into fours. So there's, like, four sections of each. And then I'm gonna sew it all back together, replacing each individual part with a layer of this black tulle fabric. Okay guys, I'm literally not kidding you. Um, I've had so many problems sewing this thing and I've only gone this far, which isn't even halfway and this has taken me literally three and a half hours. <laughs> Just lots of complications, whatever. Um, but this is how I wanted it to look. Liar! 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 So, um, I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but it's gonna take me a while. <laughs> the next most common question I get asked um, is what's my ethnicity or like, where am I from? I'm guessing it's because people see my parents, then they see my brothers, and then they see me, and they're like, What's going on there? I said, damn, bitch. Um, so my dad is from the Dominican Republic, and then my mom is half Colombian and half Irish. So I am Dominican, Colombian, and Irish. That that's it. That's it. Yeah. Six hours and a lot of sewing. Later. Okay, so I've legit been sewing this entire time, and I think you can tell by the window. It's been just a little bit of time. It's been, it's about, been in total about five and a half hours, six hours. So I'm tired and I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll finish this tomorrow. I'm starting day three with my dog, but he keeps stopping. Come on, Rocky, let's go. Good boy. Okay, strong start to day three. I promise I'm gonna finish it all today. I, I didn't. But yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with sewing. I like it because I like statement pieces. I like really loud clothing. And my personal style, I, I can't really find a lot of times in shops. Um, so if I have an idea, I'm just like, I wanna do that, I want that, so I make it. And I really like that. But I don't like the fact that I'm not very good at it. Okay, so I just finished the arm cuffs. Really, really like it. Oh, and I made it from the fabric from like this fur hat thingy. Not exactly sure what I'm gonna wear it with, but I do have the hat. I'm not done with this. I'm gonna finish it up right now. Quickly, an another thing people were asking me is if I watch anime, I freaking love anime. All day while I've been sewing this stuff, um, I have like a TV right there and I've been watching Hunter x Hunter. I just finished it. There's like these little holes at the front that I made and I'm gonna like, rip out a little bit of hair and then like, like <laughs> it took just 
a little bit longer than I thought it would, but I am officially done with the pants. I haven't tried them on yet. Um, I think I will do that tomorrow. I am very sorry. I thought that it would take just like one day. Well, it's gonna be literally the same for you guys. What am I saying sorry for? It will be literally the next clip. I'll be wearing them. It'll be tomorrow. All vibes. Hi, okay, so it is the next day. Um, I'm gonna go put on the pants. I actually haven't tried them on yet. So I don't really know if they're gonna fit properly yet, but we will see together. Okay, so this is how I decided to style it. So this is how it looks, completely love them. I have my huge demonias on for like seven or eight inches. Um, and then, okay. So a little bit of lore behind this undershirt. You know how at the beginning of the video I said, and fun fact, this is actually my third YouTube video I've recorded. This shirt was one of them. It just, I don't know, I kind of like it, but it wasn't like, it wasn't crazy. I wasn't like living for it. But now with this like mesh shirt on top, this mesh shirt is the only thing I didn't make about this outfit. I'll give these shoes, I also didn't make those. Hey, so I just started editing and I realized I didn't film like an outro or anything. I'm also in my PJs now. I uh, changed, but um, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. I don't exactly know how often I'll be uploading. I hope once a week minimum, uh, but yeah, I, I'm i not very good at sewing, so don't come after me. I want to get better. I'm trying to get better. So this is just a learning process, um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, subscribe, comment, um, tell me what you want to see next, because I'm always down for whatever. I. I think my next video though will be me doing a photo shoot in those clothes because I want to take pictures of them and I think it's going to be really cute. Um, but yeah, bye.